Hi, Steve. Um, I'm studying to be a forensic scientist, and mm -hmm. it's something I want to do my whole life. I watch forensic files all the time. <laughs> They're and the best. 48 yeah. hours. That's my show. So I've never actually seen a dead body in real life. And I'm really nervous about seeing my first dead body because I'm taking a human anatomy class where we're going to have to see one. I'm scared I'm going to freak out. So what can I do to make my professors think that I could keep my cool? You, you, you freak out around dead bodies? <laughs> I've never seen one before. Well, what else you want to be? <laughs> Just a forensic scientist. That's been my lifelong dream. You ain't going to make it. <laughs> Let's cut this out. You, you, you're going to have to get comfortable around dead bodies. That's what forensic science is. It's dead bodies. What if I black out or pass out? Then you ain't going to have a job tomorrow. <laughs> because you got to go to a crime scene some more dead bodies. <laughs> you just want to hear what you ought to do. You got to practice being around dead bodies. Go to funerals. Just open up the paper, see who having a funeral. And it's best that you don't know these people because you ain't going to know these people on your job either. And just go to funerals. <laughs> then what you can't do at a funeral now, because this will throw the family off because they be on the front row. You can't go and just, ah! Ah! <laughs> You can't do that. <laughs> they go, who the hell is that? Did, <laughs> did James know her? <laughs> Until you get used to it, then you walk by the body. Then once you get used to the body, then you go be a, a forensic scientist. That way, when you see dead bodies, now it's going to be different, because at the funeral, they all dressed up. <laughs> Make up on all this. They be real nice at the funeral. You find somebody in the field been laying there for a week and a half, their ass ain't going to look like they do in the funeral. <laughs> so I don't really know if that's going to help you or not, but you got to do something, work it out. <laughs> you know? Walk up there, touch it. <laughs> Will do. Ain't that dog. Take your camera with you, because that's what you got. That's <laughs> my suggestion. I went to a funeral. Uh... No, I can't tell y'all that. OK, all right, here's the deal. I went to a funeral one time when my friends had passed from high school. And my buddy, I was with my boy, Biggie Wig, and we went to the funeral together. And, well, we drove to the funeral, and we stood in line. It was a long line. We didn't really know nobody. I said, man, he had a lot of people we didn't know. And so when I got up to the casket, Big had started talking to these girls, so he stayed a few people behind. And, you know, Big kind of crazy, so I tried to keep him with me all the time. So when I got up to the body, we was at the wrong funeral. <laughs> so when I looked in at the body, I didn't know the dude. And so I just pulled it together. I went, OK, cool. So I went to tap Big to say, hey, Big, we at the wrong funeral. But he was back there talking to some girls. So that usher pushed us along. So I'm in the back of the church, and I'm trying to get Big's attention. Because when he go up there and see this body, he ain't going to have the right reaction. Because <laughs> he real hood, you know. He, ain't, he don't have no polish. And you know, so he walked up to the body. <laughs> he looked in, and he said, oh, hell no. <laughs> Bastard ain't amp. <laughs> <laughs> now the dude family on the front row, they mortified. <laughs> he said, hey man, who the hell is this? <laughs> I'm in the back of the church going, just. Moral of the story is, don't take Biggie Wig to the funeral with you. Because he ain't going to act right. I wish I could tell you what he really said, but we on daytime TV. Maybe on a commercial break, I'll give you the real joke. <laughs>